Uh, 13,000 there only on the weekend. 18 months since North Melbourne supporters have seen their team play. They'd be concerned about that, as in fans with Melbourne on their crowd on Saturday, albeit the behavioural patterns of Melbourne are still settling. Uh, you have wrote a story a little bit cynical of the Kangaroos a couple of weeks ago. There were many... No, I didn't. It was a news story saying that um, the task force and the Tasmanian people are now you were seeing cynic. You were cynic. a relocated team is more likely than a 19th team, a... and the obvious choice is North. It had a cynical undertone to it. Oh, you've been John, saying the same thing for I, a year. I, at least I own it. I That's have. Your, I wrote a news story. Aren't I allowed to do that? Don't shoot the messenger crazy. Here you've go. got the opinion. I wrote the story. The Fox footy team reacted to your story on the weekend. Are you sick of the people from the cheap seats with their clickbait headlines talking about relocating? We've had two relocation stories, two merger stories in the last year alone. Name names, Ralphie, too. Where well, did the clickbait come from? Yes. The clickbait always comes from Carolyn Wilson, and Ooh. she's written multiple Ooh. stories about that. I mean, seriously, if I was going for clickbait, do you think... I don't mean to be rude, but I probably wouldn't write about a team that can only attract 13,000 people to their first home game in front of a crowd in 18 months. I challenged you on this last week because the and North do, fans do were now, frustrated. Do you now admit no, no, I, I have some sympathy for the rusted-on North fans who are it sick of having people relocate. It was a story. It the first time team. I've done I, it. I, I, you're saying North don't drive clicks. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> you're now, you're exactly your latest clickbait <laughs> story is North isn't <laughs> click-worthy. Is that what you're saying? Oh, look, I don't, I don't look at all that stuff. I had two emails. I mean, I wasn't like a, I wasn't like monstered by um, a response. North Melbourne have got passionate and wonderful supporters. But don't click. But I think the Herald Sun are being a little bit mischievous if they're saying that you write a North story to get. And has David King wound Johnny Ralph up there? You think? Oh well, look serious. I mean, he's not independent. And I understand that. He's a North fanatic, and he's backing his Glen Archer's mouthpiece, and he's doing a wonderful job supporting his footy club. I can just say that as clickbait tomorrow. Caro <laughs> says North don't drive clicks. <laughs> yeah, well, They've got to get their crowds back. Well, at SCN, do team. you do a North story over a Collingwood story? Uh, it doesn't often uh, out trump it, but uh, <laughs> oh, please. I, I want to see them get their act together. They're, they're, there's some good young talent on the field on the weekend. How concerned are you? They haven't seen their team play for 560 yeah. days. New coach, new players and 13,000 turn up. I do think we need to give the Melbourne community a little bit of time. Uh, it's not quite at full cylinder yet. Well, but it didn't bother them when Essendon played. It didn't bother them when Richmond played. Yep. It didn't bother them when Collingwood played. But they, they've only been able to... See, Adelaide you, got you an unbelievable a... crowd. Brisbane got a fantastic crowd. West Coast got a great crowd. There were... You said there was 1,000 Port fans yesterday. Yeah, so 12,000. That's according to so Marvel So if 18 Stadium. months of absence equals 12,000 fans, I'd suggest they've got a problem on their hands. Yeah, uh, no, as we, do, know, as we know they've botched the last two years horrendously. Yeah. And we need to... But I would have thought a new coach who's showed a lot of promise, you'd give him a chance.